So let's do a star map and long range ship movement tutorial for Ascendancy. Um, we're going to load a game where I know we're in a good state to um, show you everything about the star map. So it's not from the beginning of the game where you haven't even begun to build out um, your knowledge of what's going on in the galaxy. So let's load this one. And here we are. So here's the star map. This is the main launch screen for every other place and, and thing you can do in the game. Uh, this is the first place you go after you do set up a new game, and we'll show you game setup in, a, in another tutorial. Um, but again, keep in mind, when you first start Ascendancy, you only know about a single system. You don't know about any of the star lanes in the galaxy. You only know your home world system and you have to explore and, and discover um, and tr trade information with other species in order to start getting knowledge about this complete star map. Um, keep in mind during Ascendancy anytime you need to get help you can press the question mark in the upper right um, and when you're first starting out what this does is activates touch sensitive uh, touch help uh, which means that you can essentially play the game while having an overlay of, of information on the screen. Uh, it shows you and tells you what every single button does. Uh, it gives their names. Um, but after a very short while, because all of the buttons are graphical icons that indicate what they do, uh, we expect you won't be able to even need the names. Um, for example, you can see that this button shows red and blue lanes on it, uh, and this button shows colored lanes. Uh, pull up help and it shows that one toggles the lanes themselves, the other toggles the actual domains and territories owned by various species in the game. So if we go to domain, we see that this star map is almost all purple, which is our color, and there's only a few other smaller domains. This means we're really close to victory in this game. Um, and I'll show you another one where that's not the case, but for now this gives us the information we need to really give you a good tutorial. Um, so we have domains toggled. This toggles system ownership, so you can do these various... This shows the uh, ships in the display. You can do these various toggles to essentially um, remove certain amounts of information and allow you to focus on others. Um, for example, red and blue lanes, those are very strategic because blue lanes are traversable much more quickly than red lanes. Uh, for red lanes, you're going to want to invent new and better star lane drives and put more of them on your larger ships once you get to that level of the game. Uh, and again, from the star map, we can go to the research display, and you'll notice how that was interactive with Touch Help Up. Um, the research display shows the knowledge tree in the game. You start out with nothing, and you begin to research technologies and, and uh, new fields of study. Um, and for example, in this research tree, uh, we're currently... Um, oh, I, that's right, I've set it not to research anything right now, so I can show you something cool about the star map in a minute without being interrupted. Um, but you can see if you want, you could study doom mechanization. And again, in the game, if you tap on an object, uh, it can pull up information. So you get touch touch help on a lot of areas where you might want to find out what something does for you. Um, fertilization plant. Um, and again, these are, I don't want to give too many things away. These are very advanced stages of the game. Um, tractor beams, Brunswick dissipators. You can study hyper radiation and get new uh, engines and generators, things like that. Van Krieg hyper splicer. Um, but back to the star map. So let's, uh, another thing that about the star map is, that is new in the iOS version, is this, these icons that display the resource productions in star systems. And you can see that um, this, what this helps you do at a glance is as the game is going, let's just fast forward a little bit here. If they want to trade really quick, we'll just do that. And oh, I'll show you a quick battle. Okay, here's a enormous ballast sh ship, but because we have planets and several ships in the system, instead of doing this battle by hand myself, I'm just going to let the autopilot handle it. Let's see what happens. So 
that's that back to the star map so you can see as time goes on in the game I'm just going to ignore that for now so you can see that these icons are bubbling up in systems that we own and that just gives you a visual cue as to how much capacity each star system is producing and this kind of helps later in the game when you decide to put a list of your planets onto autopilot as you can see the amount of colonies that you get in late stages are extensive and it's a lot of fun to build up your planets from scratch but eventually you want to put them on auto manage um, and some of them in less important systems you'll want to put on auto manage just from the beginning um, so this gives you a, a feel for how your planetary governors are doing um, but you can also toggle that off anytime so you can get a better view of your ships and what I want to show you quickly now is, uh, as you could see, by the way, I was using this screen to get to my planets menu. It'll take me to my ships menu. I can look at a glance at the amount of ships I have in various systems, and um, it appears that several of them are in the central system. So I'm just going to go there by tapping on the star in that menu, and it shows I have these ships here, including some uh, invader ships that are packed with invaders. This guy has used up his invaders, except for two of them. Um, he has no invaders left, so a lot has been going on in the game. And now that I've looked at that system, the star map has it in mind and it keeps it up. So the system that is selected in the star map is always ringed by white. You can see that as I select other systems, they get ringed by white. The other rings in the game indicate which species own planets inside those systems. Uh, so sometimes there's no rings, other times there's one, two, or even more. In this case, again with the domain toggled, we can see that we've managed to concentrate our ships in a system that is adjacent to one of the last independent systems in the game. And it looks like we're awfully close to victory, so it's probably time to go in and, um, and take over, because that's the way this game is going. Uh, there are peaceful and diplomatic ways to win as well, so it's not all just conquering other species. But this is a um, star map and ship movement tutorial, so what we'll do is, if we wanted to, we see that we're about to go into the Ajax system, and if we wanted to, we could just select the Ajax, Ajax star lane and pick a ship, tell him, give him the move order, tap on the lane and give him the green light. But instead of doing that one at a time from within the system, the iOS version of Ascendancy allows you to simply pull up the ship toggle list. I just used help text to give me the name of that button. The ship toggle list, and I pick a ship and select a destination star, tap on the star, and you can see the little white glowing line indicating the path it's going to take. Now this is just a one hop to another star, and um, we'll do that. But let's just show you, now that we've selected that, we give him the green light, he's ready to go. Now all the others are simply a matter of tap, green light, tap, green light, and they're all set to go to Ajax as a fleet. And we go to the system and we tap fast forward, and we can see that they're off to do that now. They're going to go invade. And we don't have to watch the entire movement, we could just fast forward. But another thing to keep in mind is ships further away. So here's a ship in the system, Fletcher. And he also wonders if he should go to Ajax. And you can see the white glowing line that would take him all the way down to Ajax. Or we could send him somewhere else. If we want him to protect the flank, we send him where they just left, to Central. Or we can send him to any corner of the galaxy we like with the long-range ship movement orders. Uh, and we'll just send him right to Central System. Fast forward. Oh, we have moves left. Well, I'll show Invasion in another tutorial. We don't want to uh, let ourselves get blindsided in this game right now. I'll shoot at him once just because I'm here. He's running away. Won't get far. Okay, now that was sending a fleet into one adjacent system. Before we end this tutorial, let's load a game where I remember we have several ships in one system, but we want to disperse them to different areas. And that is uh, this one, I believe. <coughs> so
So very quickly in this star map you can see that the domains this game is, is very much still in contention. We're the yellow guys and well we do have a lot of planets you can see by the yellow rings our domain is not all that large. Other species, the orange guys, in this case the Orpha, I just went to the diplomacy wheel there and um, this gives you a little bit more intelligence on your own species and whom you're at war with. So if you look down here, if you go to the interspecies relations button, you can pull up the intelligence screen and see at a glance how things are going. It shows you who's at war with whom, who has how many discoveries and colonies. And so you can see we have a lot of colonies and a lot of ships, but our domain is not nearly as secure as some of the other planets in the game, uh, some of the other species in the game. And we may want to change that. Um, as you can see here, for example, here's a good looking system that has one, two, three, well, that's a selection ring, but other than the white selection ring, one, two, three, four, it looks like four species in there. Yep, there's the fruit maca, the orpha, the snow vendomas, and us. And there's our planet building alien hospitality at the moment. Um, and maybe we've been away from this game for a while and we don't remember exactly where all of our ships are. We can see and tap on the star map, but we can also just press the ship menu button and it shows you at a glance. Here's our ships in the Yorbin system. We go there, there's a nice big fleet of our ships. And instead of sending them just to one system, maybe we want to start controlling. Again, you can see that the domain, we have a lot of planets here, but it's not in our control. So we want to either start invading other systems or perhaps just building up choke points that allow us to essentially dominate the traffic lanes going through the system. So we're going to take some of our ships and just start moving them. And he's an enormous invader who's going to go over to the uh, Chloros system. And since he's an invader, he doesn't have a lot of weaponry, so we're going to send an enormous system defender with him. And that's done. And now we want to find another good potential choke point or invasion launching platform, so we're going to send another system defender over to the high beam system and we'll send a large invader with him and um, oops. That didn't, we didn't give him the green light yes there he's going to high beam give him the green light choose the uh, other invader give him the green light and continue to do that to various systems in the game and we'll leave some behind and an enormous smart bomber with him as well. And now if we go into the Yorban system, again you can see that they're flying off to their destinations without you having to worry about commanding them along the way. We see a Dubtex ship entered here. We could shoot at him or use our tractor beam on him. Let's see if he's in range. He's out of range. In fact, I'm not going to do battle right now. That's for another tutorial. It's just you can see how extremely flexible and full of information this star map is. We um, we tried to design it as um, as though we were a, a an admiral having an overall command and control view of everything going on inside a species domain, and uh, it is quite a nice tool to have. So that's it for the. Star map tutorial and sh long range ship movement. Keep in mind that you can pull up help and tip text anytime you like. And uh, we hope you enjoy. Thanks very much. And